Welcome to a SketchUp for Schools tutorial series. We are doing a 20 foot by 20 foot shed in this in this tutorial series. This is going to be our end result and we are simply doing the overall design of the garage in this particular series. So the foot pad is 20 foot by 20 foot. We have a garage door opening on one side. We have three windows that are four by three and then an oversized door that is five foot wide. The roof line goes from eight to about ten foot, uh, maybe ten foot, ten and a half foot on the front um, with a twelve by four foot porch. So this is the result. So let's go ahead and come over here and start our project. So to begin with, I always start with a ground. Um, that's way we can build on it, uh, makes things easier to zoom in and out, uh, build things on it. Just it makes things a lot, a lot easier. So I'm going to type in 50 apostrophe comma 50 apostrophe. So 50 foot by 50 foot. Hit enter. Let's triple click on that ground go in here and let's make that a group i'm going to take my tape measure start over here to the left go over a little bit to create a starting point from that starting point i'm going to go over and our concrete pad is going to be 20 foot by 20 foot so i'm going to go over type in 20 apostrophe hit enter and we have our starting and ending point of our, the width of our concrete pad. Same thing with this bottom one. We're just going to go in here and just place it randomly. It doesn't really matter where it's at. Um, then from that point, we're going to go up 20 apostrophe, hit enter, and now I have my rectangle. Take my rectangle tool, go from the intersection to intersection. If this does not show up with that intersection X, okay, then that these two guides are not on top of each other. So be aware of that. If it's not um, kind of clicking there in that intersection, then you have something wrong. Um, the one guide may be up off the ground or something like that is most likely what's causing it. So once we have that, Select the P key for the push pull tool and we're going to we're going to push pull that square up and we're going to type in six enter for six in, for six inches. Select your space bar for your selection tool. We're going to click on it a few times to make sure that the entire cube is selected. Right click and go to make group. The next thing we're going to do is draw in our walls. So our foundation is a group. And so now we can build everything on that foundation. Um, that way our foundation is a group and our walls will be another group. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool, draw in another rectangle on top of my group. We're then going to take your offset tool, which is located behind the push pull tool. We're going to click once so that we can still move it in and out. Okay. We're going to make sure that our it little square is smaller. We're going to type in four enter. The reason we're going to use four is because the overall wall is going to be the width of a two by four stud, which is three and a half inches. Your, that stud is going to go all the way to the outside of our foundation. Um, and then on the inside, we have a half inch sheet of drywall. So our outside wall will be four inches. And then our inside wall, we will make it as three and a half or uh, four and a half inches. So that way it will mimic both the drywall, half inch drywall on each side. Okay. 
this is going to be our front. So we have a four foot porch. So from the very back over here, I'm going to click, I'm going to drag over to the right, type in 16 feet. So 16 apostrophe, hit enter. From that point, going to the left, I'm going to type in four, enter. From, this is still the front, so from the far left over to the right, we're going to type in 12, apostrophe. And let's go four inches right there. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to draw in our rectangles. Once you have those, so that is going to be the way it looks overall. Now we need to kind of clean things up. I can delete, get rid of that line, get rid of that line. So I need to undo that. I need to draw in a little line right here. Select the E key for the eraser tool, erase that. So that we have that result. We can get rid of our guides. So there we have those. So that is our wall. Now we want to go in here and kind of lay out where our windows and door is. So our front door is going to be to the left, six inches. We're going to have a five foot door. So let's go in here and draw in that door. This window is going to be centered. So from that inside wall, find our center point, which is three foot one. This door is going to be four foot wide, three feet tall. So on one side, go to apostrophe and we'll go to the other side to apostrophe. Select your rectangle tool, draw in your rectangle, And I'm actually going to leave the lines there. That way I can pull, it, pull that part up um, to make things easier. So I'll erase the lines for the doors, but for windows, I'll leave the lines there. So let's delete these guides as I don't need them anymore. There we go. So we'll have those. For the garage, I'm going to offset it over here to the left, one foot. We're going to do a 10 foot garage door. Draw in our rectangle. Select your eraser tool and we'll erase that front, that forward line right there. For the windows on the right side, we're going to have two windows. So we will go in here. We'll go over here to our windows, take our tape measure, which is the T key. From the inside wall, we're going to go over to apostrophe, two feet. Our window is four feet wide. We're going to go to the other side, 
to apostrophe and it's going to be four foot wide. Take your rectangle tool. We're going to mark off our rectangles. If you click things by mistake, hit the escape key. That's the top left hand key on your keyboard, the ESC. Go ahead and click on that and that will kind of unclick what you just did. It's not stepping backwards, it's just deselecting what you have selected. So go ahead and we will draw in our two rectangles. And let's delete our guides. Again, we're not going to delete these lines. We're just going to make sure we understand this is our window, this is a window, this is not the window. Next, let's go ahead and select our push pull tool. Again, that is going to be the P key. We're going to take our walls and we're going to bring those up eight feet. So eight apostrophe. And I think instead of erasing lines, I went and hid them, is what I did. So I'm going to undo all of this. And let's see if that works. So that's one thing with this, the new update, it keeps those toggled on. So with our eraser tool down here, if you have shift on, that will go in here and hide. So make sure that that's turned off. Um, now everything is lined up. So this is going to be eight apostrophe. We'll erase that line. We're going to bring up this wall and that wall. We'll also bring up this wall right here. So go in here, space bar, uh, bring up selection tool. We're going to click on this three times to make sure that everything is selected. Um, I'm actually going to, I want to click on the floor and I'm going to hit delete. That way it's we only have the walls selected. So come here, click on the walls three times, make sure that everything is selected, right click and make this a group. Make sure you go in here and you save your project. In our next episode, we're going to take care of the outliner panel. We're also going to close up our windows we're going to make a door into our closet and then we'll start laying out um, the roof okay thank you for watching this episode stay tuned for more episodes in this tutorial playlist and on the channel